just going to give a quick overview of the MW embed library. We'll, I'll have a lot more uh, to say about it on Thursday within the workshop. But basically, it's a library for um, embedding video and doing content ingestion. Let's take this off real quick. And it's used sort of through, it's been developed sort of as part of the Wikimedia projects. Um, let's do the simple one. The most simple version of it is a, sort of a player. It lets you um, do really, I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but uh, let's scroll down a little bit. It lets you use a video tag in your web page and get the video rewritten to uh, a player. So these, if you've used source on this page, you can see that it's just a straight video tag. Make it really big. It's just a normal video tag. You have the source, the poster, and then some extra things for comments. But uh, <laughs> essentially, it's a, you can just use the video tag and then get back a interface for playing video. And it's uh, skinnable, and it has a few little interface items and things. So you can uh, download the video or share it or uh, you know, see the credits page. Um, and that, that, that's it at its most basic level. Uh, it also supports time text. So if you uh, saw all the stuff that Sylvia was talking about, uh, it, it sort of supports that. And the neat thing is it supports it in a cross-browser fashion. So you can uh, write your time text embed syntax once, and then it'll play in Internet Explorer and uh, Apple Safari and, and Chrome and all the browsers. And it, it'll just, if the If, if the browser supports, um, if the browser doesn't support the time text format, it'll lay it out in a different place. Uh, let's not, let's go to the other demo here. There was something. There it goes. Okay. Uh, so this this is a example video on Wikipedia Commons. I don't know why the local one wasn't working very well, but we'll just play this real quick. You see, like the text in there. You can choose the language. It changes the language there. If if for example the the player uh, didn't support overlays, you know, not all the browsers support the video tag. Sometimes you just have like a plugin window. Then we automatically put the the text below the video, uh, and it still accesses the plugin in a standardized way, standardized way. So you can sort of get all those time text updates. Since it's a wiki, we um, we want to support uh, wiki text. So some people are put links into the into the um, SRT files. So you can see right here. Uh, somebody added a link, so when you're playing the video, maybe some of the time text will have links and things. Uh, and that's that's basically the player functionality. It also features um, a few other tools. So this is like for uh, when you're editing a web page, it has a Add Media Wizard, so it makes it easier to to put content into a page. I'm not. How am I doing on time? If I'm sort of going over here. Okay. So um, I don't know if the internet's working very well here, but it does display a little. There's one that I already loaded, uh, and you can sort of insert the image into uh, your web page or in, or into a wiki. In this case, it's a web page. Um, and if it and if it was a, a media file, oops. Then it would let you insert that. 
and it uses the that uses that same video tag embed syntax, so that and uses the, the player and everything. So it just it's sort of a platform for uh, dealing with the video, um, and it also and the library also handles some uh, Firefox integrations and things like that. But I think Jan will demo that in a minute. And basically, uh, if you want a little bit more information about how the library works and how you could use it in your projects, come to the tutorial on Thursday, and we'll go through a little bit more detailed examples.